then the metal thing started creeping in and that was like the perfect hybrid for me uh, because it was like here it had all the aggression and everything and power of punk rock but yet then all of a sudden the musicality came into it where you really had to play and stuff like that and I was like oh okay this is getting better so that's when I got into the metal thing and that's when I, that's when I started Metal Search. San Francisco had a really good scene going on. You know, there were a lot of good bands, and there was a lot of excitement and a lot of you know a lot of you know a lot of life going on there. And you essentially started Metal Church in San Francisco, and then moved it back up Correct. to Aberdeen or Seattle. Aberdeen yeah, first, yeah, yeah. yeah. When did you begin putting together the band that we would know as Metal Church? That would have been after I moved back to Seattle. I mean, to Aberdeen. Uh-huh. I put it together with friends that I knew, my drummer, my drummer friend, Kirk Arrington, who was basically my stepbrother, and uh, put it together with my guys I knew here locally, yeah. and then put it together with the connections that I made down there. You know, we started doing the tape trading thing, and it's recorded, and, you know, just kind of started, did it from there. Yeah. What are some of the highlights from the first Metal Church album and uh, the recording process? Oh, well, the fact is that we went in and didn't really know what we were doing and recorded it. We made the record in 10 days, start to finish. Just because we played most of it live, yeah, yeah, which was basically that's how we that's all we knew, <laughs> and we got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, it, it worked. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, okay, we should have kept doing that, but unfortunately, then <laughs> after that, then the record companies step in and screw everything up yeah. as usual. So, is there something to actually recording live as a band in the studio? Is there a difference to me? Well, not a difference, but a, a preference for you as a musician. Would you rather? Oh, if you can, yeah. if you can, if you can do it live. If you're rehearsed yeah. as a band and yeah. you can record it live, it always, always gives it much more of more life and much more, you know, it's much more exciting, you know. But so it's so hard to do that. You really have to be rehearsed really well to do that, you know. Oh, totally, so I yeah. prefer it if you can, if you yeah. can. And on the new Metal Search record that we're going to be working on is uh, we're definitely going to try to do that again if we can. Well, actually, talk about the second Metal Church album a little bit. So that one wasn't recorded live, right? Yeah, right. That was after we got signed, and then you know they brought in a producer for the first time, which is Mark Dodson. Yeah. And, uh, and that was our first experience working with uh, a producer. And you know that took three months to make, You because know, we were doing it like... Like, like supposedly like the big boys do it, you know, and yeah. going in debt massively to the record company <laughs> for studio, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, and then I, I listen to that record now, I go, wow, the songs and everything were developed when it's way overproduced and it doesn't have nearly the life that it's supposed to and blah, 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 hmm. you know, but learned a lot. That's where I realized how much I was really like the studio thing. So, yeah, yeah. you know, I learned a lot from him, from Mark Dodson. And, you know, I saw that. So, oh, I get it. I see how you do it. Yeah. You know, and that's where my interest in the studio really became extremely intense. So, yeah, so that was basically the second record. You know, we just did it, you know, we did it that way, you know. You know, meticulously working on everything and, you know, and spending, you know, making sure everything was perfect. And, and at the time, everything, all the drums were triggered and all that stuff, which I hate when I hear yeah. it now. Yeah. You know, but that was the thing to do. So. Well, it's still it's still a good album. I mean, I I really like oh, a yeah, lot of yeah. songs. Yeah, people really that. like it. Yeah. But when I listen to it, I'm like, oh, God, what the <laughs> hell were we thinking? You know, I just want, that's like I said, after the... Uh, working on the dark record and realizing that really I was much more interested in the ass of the creation process and studio. And I wanted to learn how to engineer and make records and, uh, just becoming part of the, the big machine where, okay, here we are, we're starting to succeed, but we're massively in debt to the record company. And suddenly yeah. you're being controlled, you know, being okay. Now you got to go on the road for this amount of time. Now you got to go on the road for here. You got to go here. You got to go do this, got to do this, got to do this. And I found that to be very disconcerting. Uh, even though I understood why we were doing it, but all of a sudden it became very obvious how the thing worked, how they're spending a lot of money and giving you, you know, advancing you money that you owe. So basically you become having to work for the record company. And I didn't like that. So, and then that coupled with the fact that I found my interest in the engineering and production aspect of things to be was much more interested in that. So that's why I said, guys, look, I'm going to do learn how to do this. If you want to go live in a bus and go do that, that's great. <laughs> That's great, and that's fine. I mean, because yeah. I love playing live. I always loved playing live. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't. I didn't like the whole uh, suddenly becoming, you know, controlled by the record company, and everybody else wanted to go out and drink beer, fuck chicks, you know, yeah. type of thing. Yeah, exactly. And which is fine enough. That's great. But for me, yeah. I was more and much more interested in wanting to learn how to make records. A musician's and, musician. Yeah. Yeah, and that's great, and that was great. I was more power to you guys. You know, sorry, I hate to let you down, but I've kind of found something that I need to do for me. 
And again, not being comfortable with the way the music business worked at that time. And uh, just kind of, I just was not, I just didn't dig that at all. <laughs> what was your involvement in the uh, Blessing in Disguise? Because that was the next album, correct? Well, I, I wrote and produced it and did yeah. played on it and stuff. Yeah, I worked in the studio with them. Yeah. yeah. Music Life Radio. Stories at the intersection of 